Part work strategy for reducing common problems. How to work with your sub selves for a better life. This is the lesson 1.33 from Break the Cycle. Uh, skipping the, um, the first paragraphs. Introduction. IFS therapy or parts work. It's internal inner family structure therapy. Um, parts work is a relatively new concept from 1980, so typical mental health professionals and most lay people have never heard of it. One result is the most troubled people are diagnosed with traditional labels bias to the absolute Freudian medical models and mental illnesses. In my professional ability, GWC's wounds, especially disabled true self, are the root cause of the most neurological mental health problems. If this is true, then IFS therapy can be used to reduce and end most such problems. From 24 clinical study and practice with hundreds of average men and women, this article explains and illustrates this opinion. Okay, this is, this is the, the website based on Peter Kallick's experience, life experience. Okay? The concept is mo in most cases can be troubled, host person's true self is disabled by other sub-selves who don't trust it and other manager sub-selves to keep them and the most person safe. Parts work th thrives to one, identify which sub-selves disable the self, capital S, and two, persuade them to trust their, her in more to keep the inner kids safe. Different combinations of active and inner kids and distrustful guardians, sub-selves cause different sim symptoms and diagnostic labels. I'm not aware of any research that has explored whether sub-cells and non-genetic organic dysfunctions like cancer, diabetes, migraines, and ulcers are related. I think they are. Well, um, I'm not going to go into that. Perhaps I will create videos about that because I've, that's a very interesting question and I've, I found other doctors that have analyzed this, okay? Parts work overview. We can't forget that we all are energy beings. Huh? Parts work overview. Basic strategy for reducing all psychological problems over time is familiarize yourself with your resources in online lesson one, part three. Learn about and validate concepts of uh, personality subselves, true self and false selves. Familiar uh, get familiar with your with how subselves behave and communicate. Evolve a personal inventory of your three types of sub-selves. Together, they all comprise your inner family personality. Learn how to visualize and dialogue with typical sub-selves. Estimate which specific sub-selves are causing your inner pain and your main personal versus relationship problems. One at a time, get these sub-selves to trust your eyes resident through self and retrain or reassign misguided guardians to a more useful in inner family roles. Learn how to identify sub-selves in the past and how to bring them safety into the present. This part of learning is how to work with your inner kids. Learn how to manage mind racing, calm multiple inner voices. Learn how to unblend free your true self from false self-takeovers. If you have protective blocker and the saboteur sub-selves, befriend them and get them to trust and follow your sub yourself and retrain them to help you instead of hindering you or healing. Intentionally work to deepen your spiritual wisdom and faith in a benign asset higher power. Practice applying your version of serenity prayer. Learn how to conduct council meetings and your sub-selves to inform them of plans, of plans and progress to unify them and to get their questions, suggestions and needs. Learn to be aware of and trust the still small voice of your higher self, wise one, spirit one, intuition. Work patiently to still healthy pride in a team spirit in your inner family over time. As you do, seek to discover your, pers your life pur purpose. For that, I used uh, astrology to know where is your south node and north node and also numerology. I have done videos about that to know what is your soul purpose, okay? and to teach it to yourself as your long-term long goal. Review this part works, troubleshooting tips. Intentional build and use a support network of people. Open the ideas of personality subselves and part works. Seek others in personal recovery from inherited wounds and unawareness. One such resource is the private Break the Cycle group on Facebook. 
reduce contact with people, organizations, and activities that promote inner pain and hinder your recovery. That's really difficult. Review and use the resources of the nonprofit Center of Self Leadership. If you use professional help, choose an experienced EFS practitioner. Um, if you just read an overview of what works, internal family systems therapy. Now let's look at examples how to use this powerful healing process. Specific parts work strategy. Here are common psychological problems and links to specific parts work strategy to reduce and end them. The strategies are generic, so adapt them to fit your unique personality, family, and situation. Note that this table includes all the six GWC's wounds in bold. These strategies are meant to be implemented individually rather than sequentially. So there is some repetition among them. All strategies include retraining one or more guardian sub-selves in freeing your true self to live. The underlining links in this table will open a new page close to come back here. Okay. Addiction, codependence, aggression, abuse, anger, rage attacks, anxiety, fears, panic, apathy, laziness, depression, distress in self, others, psychological disorders, emotional unavailability and inability to feel, bond, empathize and love. This is the, uh, the fourth chakra. Egotism or arrogance, chronic or excessive guilt, indecisiveness, self-doubt, mind racing and insomnia, insensitivity, low empathy, compulsive lying, low self-esteem, shame, narcissism, NPD, which is narcissistic, narcissistic personality disorder, obsessions, compulsions, OCD, over-analyzing, unfeeling, over-control, manipulation, pessimism, cynicism, procrastination, promiscuity, over-sexualizing, poor impulse control, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, putting others' needs first, reality distortion, lack like denial, unreliability, breaking promises. Also, <clears throat> see these options for identifying and freeing yourself from unhealthy life scripts. That's very important. Parts work strategy. Recall underlining links will usually open a new page in this site in, or in another site. Plain links, plain links will open an informative pop-up. These outlines built on the basic strategy summarized above. Option, use each strategy outline as a checklist and guide and track your parts work. In this outline, befriended means visualize and have inner dialogues with your sub-self. A. 2A, learn about it, and 2B, build its trust and it's safe to talk with your, your true self. Sorry. If you have significant trouble with the strategy, for example, can't get an image or dialogue or stay focused, suspect that the well-intentioned blocker and saboteur sub-self doesn't yet trust this process is safe and helpful. Shift your focus to that part, befriend it, and learn how it is protecting and seek patiently to have to trust it yourself and its parts work strategy. Note that these strategies are meant to illustrate the practical way to use parts work to reduce common personality problems. Personal problems. These schemes are not meant to be rigid cookbook solutions. Use your creativity to edit, adapt, and adapt these strategies to fit you and your situation. Note that most full problem solutions include past work plus education, addiction, Use this part work strategy if you meet these four conditions. You feel you can't control a harmful addiction to a substance, activity, relationship, codependence, or emotional state like rage, sexual arousal, or religious ecstasy, and you have read this and this for personality of fami families, addictions, personality, subselves, and sobriety, and you have read this to feel you are codependent and you have hit two or versus pseudo bottom. Premises. All four types of addictions are unconscious attempts to reduce unbearable inner pain, shame, guilt, hurt, anxiety, exhaustion, sadness, regret, rage, and despair. Addictions are a sure sign of major family dysfunctions and inherited psychological wounds. Strategy goals free your true self, permanently reduce inner pain, and maintain stable sobriety. Basic parts work strategy. Vividly imagine how your life could be if you master your addictions, use your image to motivate you, with these steps, for perspective, view this brief YouTube video on what you need to know about addictions. <clears throat> Work steadily to free your true self to guide you and review these basic strategy steps. Is your self guiding you now? If not, who is? Read this whole strategy first to get the big picture. Watch your procrastinator, skeptic and saboteur 
try to block or delay your this framework and then ask and then to relax and observe as yourself carries out steps like this adopt a long range patient point of view rather than expecting quick changes motors a day at a time and progress not perfection rough draft your roster of personality sub selves and group them as inner kids guardians or firefighters or managers imagine that your addiction is caused by a well-intentioned garden sub self the addict who distrusts yourself and ceaselessly strives to distract several inner kids from inner pain. Befriend your addict self and see if she or he will tell you which inner kids she is protecting. Ask if she or he knows who your self are and what you lead. Ask if she or he trusts your lead and keep your inner kids safe. Expect no. If you haven't worked with your natural good parent self before, establish contact with it now. Clarify what is the manager sub self exists to do. If you don't have a nurturer, watch the chances to reassign another guardian sub self to this vital inner family role. One at a time, patiently work with each inner child who may contribute to your inner pain. For example, your overwhelmed, lost, abandoned, hurt, sad, angry, guilty, and shamed young self, young sub selves. Bring them to life safely in the present under the expert care of your nurturer and other managers themselves. Stay alert for potential benefits <clears throat> for redoing some aspect of early trauma with any sub-self, especially your inner kids. Befriend and retrain your, retrain your inner critic, perfectionist, pessimist and catastrophizer, guardian sub-selves to trust yourself and stop shaming and scaring your inner kids. Tell your addict that the kids she or is guarding are now safe and cared for. Work patiently to get your addict to trust yourself and other managers to keep you and your inner kids safe in all situations. As you succeed, consider negotiate, negotiating your inner, new inner family role for this successful guardian. If you have protective skeptic doctors, your sub self, this won't work. Befriend and ask him or her respectfully to be quiet and give this strategy a chance. If you have a protective, if you have a relationship addiction, codependence, read this article and then implement this strategy. Options: participate in the local 12-step anonymous groups like AA, GA, NA, CODA, and or inpatient in inpatient addiction recovery program. The people this probably won't know about inherited psychological wounds, personality subset of artworks. They can still be inspiring, informative, and supportive. If you do participate and choose a sponsor, invite her or him to study online lesson one, to understand what you are doing, and to achieve stable sobriety and reduce GWCs. Review this pro proposed revision on the traditional anonymous 12 steps of grown women and children, GWCs. Edit it and suit you, print it and use it as a guide as you achieve sobriety. Review your key relationships and decide whether are toxic cause you significant pain and which are nurturing. Use lesson two communication skills to assert boundaries with, reduce contact with and, to and toxic relationships, including family members. Use lesson four to strengthen your relationship skills and options. Ask others who are using parts work to gain sobriety for resources and suggestions and give them yours. Consider joining and starting mutual help recovery group. Note free the free private Facebook discussion group related to this non-profit website. If you have an unhealthy or stressful compulsion rather than an addiction, like nail biting, scratching, stammering, or interrupting, use this same strategy by identifying, befriending, and retraining a different guardian. For example, my nail beater. Review the goals of this strategy above and, and steps compromising it. Use this strategy as a flex flexible framework, not a rigid, rigid cookbook, and use your creative sub self to edit these steps and on others once and accordingly. Consider using a veteran parts work EFS therapist to help you with this strategy and or starting or joining a group of people interested in benefiting from parts work. Stay aware that the overarching goal of parts work is to harmonize your inner family and free your true self to guide you in all situations. This strategy was very helpful, somewhat helpful, not helpful. Aggression and abuse. Use this strategy if you and others feel you are too aggressive or abusive. 
Aggression occurs when a person A imposes his or her needs and opinions on person B without caring about B's needs or feelings. It may be caused by several subsults or are disabled the true self. For example, the purely entitled impatient inner kids and possibly magician egotist and number. Subsults. Abuse occurs when a person A artfully uses person B to gratify some needs and B can't defend themselves to or leave. If B can defend themselves or leave, A's behavior is aggression, not abuse. This distinction is important because abuse and abuser are provo provocative shaming labels that amplify conflict and enable problem solving. Typical overly aggressive people are grown wounded children who are unaware of their inherent wounds and communication and relationship skills. Strategy goals develop your, your awareness, empathy and assertion skills and replace aggression with effective assertion. Vividly imagine how your life would be if you change aggression to respectful assertion. Use your imagined image to tailor this parts work strategy. Recall this whole strategy first to get big picture. Watch your proscript pop procrastinator, skeptic and the saboteur trying to block delay for using this strategy. Work with them to relax, to relax and observe as you self carries out these steps. Patiently work from free your true self to guide you and review the basic strategy steps above. Is your self guiding you now? If not, who is? Adopt a long, a long range patient point of view rather than expecting quick changes models a day at a time and progress not perfection. Don't tell me I'm reading this again. Read this article on awareness and practice this awareness exercise until it becomes a habit. Practice, is my true self guiding me or is someone else? You can also ask yourself, am I loving myself unconditionally right now? I think this is also very helpful. If you haven't worked with your nurture, good parent, sub-self before, establish contact with it now. Clarify what his manager sub-self exists to do. If you don't have a nurturer, watch the chances to reassign another guardian sub-self to this vital inner family role. Review your inventory of sub-self and see if you have any of these inner kids. A bully, an impatient kid, an entitled kid, a selfish kid, an insecure kid, and or a rebel. Work with each such inner child and reduce her him or your nurturer and bring the child to live in the present. In the age-appropriate ways, each, teach, each, uh, it, teach each such child what needs are, what other people's needs are as valid as theirs, except in emergencies, how to identify and assert their primary needs, what empathy is, the difference between aggression and assertion, how aggression arms relationships, how to listen empathetically, and how to problem-solve, negotiate, and compromise. I would add, don't forget sarcasm is also a form of uh, aggression. Consider teaching these things as in an inner class to all sub-selves if you have a teacher. Manager sub-self delegate this important task to her or him. Gain perspective from this article on abuse. If, see if you have an aggressor guardian sub-self. If so, befriend it. Learn what it's trying to protect some inner child. Retrain it and or negotiate a new inner, a new inner family role. For it, for example, a peaceful warrior. If you do, call an all parts council meeting to explain this new role and manage many reactions. Indeed, in social situations, practice noticing your awareness bubble and thrive for a two personal person bubble. Identify the real and fictional people who most influence you. Do any of them encourage, promote, justify aggression? If so, question why do you want them, please, and emulate them. Ask important people to tell if they feel you are being aggressive than assertive. Ask your own strategy ideas. Add your own strate strategic ideas. Review the goals of this strategy above and the steps comprising it. Use this strategy as flexible framework, not a rich cook, and use your creative self, -self to edit these steps and add others that occur to you. Consider using veteran parts IFS therapies to help with this strategy and on start joining a group of people interested in benefiting from parts work. Stay aware that the over, overarching goal of parts work is to harmonize your inner family and free your true self to guide you in all situations. This strategy is very helpful, somewhat helpful or not helpful. Anger, rage, attacks. Use this strategy if you have trouble controlling expressing your anger and frustration. This strategy is for adults. 
Over angry creeds are best helped with family therapy. Some GWCs are controlled by a frustrated child or rageful child who gets triggered, erupts, and is able to true self. These attacks cause social problems, lower self-esteem, and promote guide and shame. The media often features stories about road rage and about family court judges requiring defendants to attend an anger management classes. Angry outbursts are clinically categorized in impulse control problems. Strategy goals learn to use anger and frustration constructively and teach inner kids and their guardian sub-self not to take over your true self. For perspective, view this YouTube video on using anger frustration. Vividly imagine how your life it would be if you learned to control your anger and frustrations and use them constructively. Use your image to tailor this part's work strategy. Read the whole strategy first and get the big picture. Watch your procrastinator, skeptic and saboteur trying to block and delay using this strategy. Work with them and to relax and observe as yourself carries out these steps. Patiently work to free your true self to guide you and review the basic strategy steps above. If your self is guiding you, if not, who is? Adopt a long-range patient point of view rather than expecting quick changes models a day at a time and, and progress, not perfection. Learn how to distinguish between anger and frustration and how to use each of them constructively. Use this article on anger po policies to identify your birth, family's anger policy and your present policy. If you have a work with your nurturer, good parent sub-self, before establish contact with it now. Clarify what is this manager sub-self exists to do. If you don't have an nurturer, watch for chances to reassign another guardian sub-self to this vital inner family role. Inventory your sub-selves to see if you have an angry child or frustrated child may be the same and a hurt child. Work with each child, introduce them to your nurturer, good parent, and bring them to, life, to live in the present with your other sub-selves. Learn what specifically causes the pain of, of your hurt child. If it causes are the past, teach your child how to grieve, forgive, and let go. If there are pain resources in the present, like toxic relationships, identify any guardian sub-selves that may promote the pain. See if you have a guardian sub-self who represses or numbs strong emotions like irritation, hurt, frustration to protect inner kids from stress and overwhelm, if you do. Brief ended. Assume, assure that in, it's the inner kids are safe and protected by your manager. Gain its trust in yourself and retrain the, <clears throat> this sub-self and or negotiate the new fam inner family rhyme for it. Numbing and or repressing stuffing promote stress, overwhelm, and blow-ups, rage attacks. Teach all your sub-selves your personal rights and how to identify your primary needs and how to assert their needs respectfully. If your angry outbursts are promoted by chemical overuse or addiction, work patiently to attain sobriety. Don't expect anger management classes or books to provide lasting help. They don't know about GWC's wound sub-selves or pathways. Review the goals of this strategy above and the steps comprising it. comprising it. Use this strategy as a reflexive framework, not a rigid cookbook, and use your creative self-self to edit these steps and others of ones that occur to you. Consider using veteran parts work, EFS therapist to help you with this strategy, and on starting joining a group of people interested in benefiting parts work. Stay aware that the true over- arching goals of parts work is to harmonize your inner family and free your true, your true self to guide in all situations. This strategy was very helpful, somewhat helpful, not helpful. Chronic anxiety panic attacks, GWC wound. Use this strategy if you have excessive and chronic anxiety and fears. Fear is an instinctual primary animal response which keeps us safe from anger and injury. Moderate situational fear is useful and healthy. One of the six inherent GWC's wounds is excessive and or chronic fears of criticism, failure, rejection, abandonment, unknown intimacy, commitment, and success. This wound promotes living a truncated fear-based life government governed by a false self. Strategy goal, reduce chronic and excessive fears, anxieties, worries, panics to normal level, levels. For perspective, view of this video, YouTube video, the truth about excessive fears and anxiety. Vividly imagine how your life would be 
if you reduce your anxieties and fears to normal. Use your imagine to tailor and use this patchwork strategy. Read this whole strategy first to get your big picture. Watch your procrastinator, skeptic and or saboteur trying to block, delay using this strategy. Work with this with them and to relax and observe yourself carries out these steps. Work patiently to free your true self to guide you and review the basic patchwork strategy steps above. Is your self guiding you now? If not, who is? Adopt a long range patient view point of view, rather than expecting quick changes and models a day at a time and progress not perfection. Read this perspective of it on excessive fears. If you haven't worked with your notebook, good parents, sub self, before establish contact with it now, clarify what is the manager what this manager sub self exists to do and if you don't have a notebook, watch for chances to reassign another guardian sub self to this vital inner family role. Include scared child, abandoned child, hurt child in your inventory of sub -self. You may have more than one scared child with different development ages starting with an ancient insecure infant. Work with each child one at a time, bring them to live in the present and learn what each one fears specifically. If the child fears something in the past, show your mahar that he feared is, is gone. If the child fears something in the present, estimate the development age of the child and respond to each fear as you would with a real child of that age. Empathize that she or he is safe because yourself and manager self self and the higher power are on guardian strong and competent to handle any danger. Use lesson 2, 4, 6 as resources. If you have a catastrophizer, pessimist and worried guardian self self, Befriend each of them in the time and even dialogues. Thank them for their tireless service. Teach them that they are scaring in your inner kids and convince them the kids are now safe and cared by your managers and higher power. Get them to relax and trust yourself and other managers and stop taking you over. Retrain each guardian as needed. This often means identifying key attitudes and beliefs you are taught as a child and replacing them with healthier ones. Negotiate a new inner family role <clears throat> for each part as needed. If you do, inform other sub-selves of this important change. Identify any people in your life who cause your sub-self significant anxiety and fear now. One at a time, identify specifically what your sub-self fear and what's needed, specifically to reduce each fear to acceptable. Then decide what is your options and how to reduce each fear. Confront the person specifically respectfully and assert your needs and boundaries with yourself in charge or identify people who could help you to reduce the fears and ask for their assistance and limit or end contact with each scary person or acknowledge you can't <coughs> affect your control the feared thing on person and use the serenity prayer meditate on these thoughts about us taking risks review the goals on this strategy above and the steps comp comprising it. Use this strategy as a reflexive framework, flexible framework, not a rigid cookbook, and use your creative self-self to edit the steps and add others one that occur to you. Consider using a veteran parts work EFS therapist to help with this strategy and or starting joining a group of people interested in benefiting from parts work. Stay aware that the overarching goal of patchwork is to harmonize your inner family and free your true self to guide you in all situations this strategy was very helpful somewhat helpful not helpful apathy and laziness use this patchwork strategy if you consistently have little or no ambition energy or motivation to accomplish necessary fun or fun thing the traditional view of that is that laziness is a character flaw correctable with real power and right thinking I propose that the real causes of the three or four interrelated things, several personal sub-selves that distrust your wise true self and disable it, and the archiver manager sub-self. Your sub-selves are grieving one or more major losses and low nurturing dysfunctional environment and perhaps not having not and having not discovered your life purpose. A strategy goal. Discover and remove two or three blocks on your normal life enthusiasm and accomplish. For perspective, view this brief YouTube video on the truth about laziness. 
Vividly imagine how your life could be if you convert apathy and lethargy into regular focused productivity. Use your image to tailor this patchwork strategy. Read this whole strategy first and get the big picture. What your procrastinators, skeptic and saboteur, trying to block or delay you using this strategy. Work with them to relax and observe as yourself carries out these steps. Patiently work to free your true self to guide you and review the basic parts, work, strategy, steps above. Is your self guiding you now? If not, is adopt a long-term, a long-range patient point of view rather than expecting quick changes, models, a day at a time and progress, not perfection. If you feel depressed, work uh, at a version of this strategy. A normal phase of depression is and grieving is apathy and low energy. Well, that's what we call the admit situation. Huh? If you haven't worked with your natural good parent, if you haven't, if you have an addiction, use this strategy for achieving lasting sobriety. You haven't worked with your natural good parents of self before establishing contact with it now. Clarify what is the manager sub self exists to do. If you don't have a natural, watch for chances of reassign another guardian sub self to this vital in the family role. Check your roster of sub selves to see it. You have overwhelmed and or lost inner kids. If so, work with them, introduce them to your natural good parents sub self and bring them to live with your sub self in the present time. Scan your roster sub self when you are not distracted. Use your intuition which of them seem the most related to your laziness. <coughs> if you have a nihilist guardian sub self who causes thoughts like there is no point in doing anything, befriend this well intentioned guardian. Learn which inner children is protecting. For example, your lost and overwhelmed kids. Reassure this sub self children are now reliable and cared by your nurturing and sub self. Get the nihilist to trust. And follow yourself to and retrain and reassigning it to your inner family role. Let your other sub selves know about this improvement to the team. If you have an achiever, do a manager sub self, befriend it and learn who and what may be interfering with this when it's work. Suspect a well intentioned saboteur or number sub self who may be trying to protect your shamed and or inner children to, from conflict, failure and or overwhelm. If you don't have an achiever or do your sub self. Look for opportunities to reassign another sub self to that important role. Assess your per yourself for signs or unfinished mourning. If you have signs, study these basic and options. Assess your family members and close friends. They are promoting your apathy in some way, like nagging, complaining, blaming, manipulating, discouraging, or gossiping about you. See if this article about black sheep and scapegoats applies to you. Consider getting physical exam to discover if you have a medical a problem for uh, causing lack of energy. If you often get too little sleep and feel you're too tired to do anything, see this strategy for sleeping better. Based on these options, follow your own wisdom as you as to other actions you take to regain normal interest in the daily life. Review the goals of this strategy above and the steps of compromising it. Use this strategy as a flexible framework, not a rigid cookbook, and use your creative, creative sub self to edit these steps and add others that occur to you. Consider using veteran parts work, EFS, therapist to help you with this strategy and or starting and joining a group of people interested in benefiting from parts work. Stay aware that the overarching goal of parts work is to harmonize your inner family and free your true self to guide you in all situations. The strategy was help, very helpful, somewhat helpful, not helpful. Depression. Use this strategy if you feel too depressed, too often, and or if you are using antidepressant medica medica medication. This normal human mood disorder in kids and adults ranges from mild to severe clinical, from situational temporary to chronic using antidepressant medication may reduce the sadness, apathy, and moodiness, but not, but will not reduce the overlaying psychological cause of conditions. For example, illness. Note that depression and normal grief are very similar, have very similar symptoms, which invites misdiagnosis and mistreatment. 
premise. Chronic and clinical depression usually indicate inherent psychological wounds from early childhood trauma. Most traditional medical and psychological treatments for depression and other mood disorders ignore the likelihood of these unseen wounds. Strategy, strategy goal. Resume a stable, cheerful mood and energy level. Vividly imagine how your life would, could be if you end significant depression and complete your grief. Use your imagine to power image to power of this patchwork strategy. For effective view, this brief YouTube video on depression versus grief. Read this whole strategy first on to get a big picture. Watch your procrastinator, skeptic and saboteur trying to block your delay or using this strategy. Work with them and relax and observe as yourself carries out of these steps. Patiently work to free your true self to guide you and review the basic parts Work strategy steps above. If yourself is guiding you now, if not, who is? Adopt a long term patient work point of view rather than expecting quick changes, models a day at a time, and progress, not perfection. Ground yourself, search the web for depression, then compare what you found with this article on depression and grief. Access yourself for inherent psychological wounds and early childhood trauma. Decide if you have a grown wounded child, GWC. Take this quiz on healthy grief and learn about bonding losses and healthy grief. See if you have any symptoms of unfinished grief if you do choose from these grief completion options. Inventory your sub-selves and sense versus compute which of them are com contributing to your depression, befriending and retraining them as appropriate. If you don't have previously done so, befriend your nurturer, good man, mom, and spiritual manager sub-selves. If you have one of or more sad hidden children, if you do, Befriend each of them and ask what is causing the sadness. Introduce the sad children to your nurturing and spiritual one. If a sad child is living in the past, bring them, him or her, to live in the present to join your sub self. If you have an addiction that promotes your depression, use this part's work strategy as you do this one. If you have a guilty child, befriend it, introduce it to your nurturer, learn what causes its guilt and bring it to live in the present. If you feel any adult is promoting your depression, for example, related to an ungrieved lust or addiction, use this strategy to reduce it. If you have a toxic family, marital and work environment that promotes your depression, consult your future self and wise one for manager self-self for guidance and what to do. If you are taking antidepressant medication, accept that it masks the real problem above rather than healing them. Note that whoever prescribed the medication probably knows nothing about what you are learning here. Review the goals of this strategy above and steps comprising it. Use this strategy as flexible framework, not rigid cookbook to use a creativity sub self to edit these steps and add others once that occur to you. Consider using a veteran password EFS therapist to help you with this strategy and or starting and joining a group of people interested and benefiting from parts work. Stay aware that the overarching goal of parts work is to harmonize your inner family and free your true self to guide you in all situations. Thank you very much for listening to me. Comment, like, subscribe, leave your um, experiences. For questions, consultations and donations, the email is down below. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.